getting warm up here. Um, that's the Holy Spirit. Yes. Well, if the Holy is definitely here then. <laughs> um, again, just we can't say enough how awesome it is to be with uh, you guys. And um, I think we're going to do a couple hymns right after this song. But I would encourage you guys, um, you know, we kind of talked about how God sifts us. And, um, you know how much that does hurt. But God is not sitting up there. Um, I used to sometimes think when I was younger and I'd get in trouble or something that he was sitting up there on his throne. He's like, ha, <laughs> do something wrong. You can't even breathe. No, he's not like that. As a matter of fact, God didn't preach uh, Jesus when he was on this earth. Didn't, didn't preach that I'm going to browbeat you. Every move that he made and every breath that he took was out of love. Now, I don't know about you guys, but there are times in my life that I do not feel love. There are times that, that man, can anything go worse? You know, and, and certainly it, it helps to look at that, you know, there are people that have it better off, but I'm sorry when I'm going through something and someone tells me, look at somebody else, it really doesn't help. <laughs> we all have those times, and it's important to remember through that, that whatever we're going through, it is because of love. Whether Satan is attacking us, um, I don't know, what, what, whatever issues we might be dealing with, if you deal with alcoholism, it, that's a struggle, and it stinks. Whether you're dealing with homosexuality, that's a struggle, and it stinks. Whether you have a drug addiction, whether you have a sex addiction, whatever it is, and it doesn't even have to be an addiction. But the bottom line is that it becomes between Christ and us. And the reason that he died, the reason that he stretched out his arms was to bridge that gap because he knew that we would not be perfect. And I'm not just talking to the people today that, that don't know that grace and don't understand that. I'm talking to believers also. I'm tired of, of just getting by. And I want you guys to know and I, just to affirm that whatever you're going through, whether it big or small, in the eyes of God, it's all the same. And he's, he's stretching his arms out wide to you. Are you listening? Yeah. 